2020 Hyundai Venue, although I guess the 21 models will be out by the time you see this, but we got the 20 model and we're going to roll with it. So it's the 2020 Hyundai Venue in denim edition, first press car we've had in, uh, this is the beginning of November, so beginning of August, so whatever that difference is, two and a half, two months, three months, what, September, October, yeah, uh, I guess I'm like, yeah, three months, and yeah, if you want to go back into having press cars, when you see that on the list, you're not super excited, you're not, um, especially like I drive a Hyundai, a Hyundai, I drive a Honda Element, so when I get a press car, what I really want is another vehicle kind of like what I already have, sort of, anyways, the world has to cross over everything. And so your entry level car now from Hyundai, I mean, yes, the what Forte is still around, um, but it sells less and less because you know, it's a four door sedan and no one wants four door sedan. So we've got to cross do a crossover for everything. And so we get the Hyundai venue. So walking into this thing, not a lot of expectations. Um, you just, just not, um, and not real excited about it either. How this ended up, okay, might be a little bit different, but let's have a look. The first thing about the venue that showed, when it showed up in this denim edition is the trim level. It's a reasonably attractive dark blue on the outside with the white top on it. And it looks okay. I like the paint scheme. The grill, it's kind of got this two-tone kind of thing going on because it's black, but then, you know, with this mesh, but then it's got like the silver mesh behind it a little bit. It's not real successful. Just the overall front end design is like, mm, not not great from the side it's a sort of basic two box uh, of course the back's got a slope because got to have some kind of sportiness to it because you can't just square things off these days and have efficient packaging you've got to go style over substance on everything although this one's a little better than most when it comes to that the rear is is actually not bad from you know for the rear end view it's it's tastefully done the tail lights actually are kind of good looking on this thing. So, you know, you walk around it, it's, it's small, it's very small. So it's, and I want to call it narrow, but just overall package from the, like the box it comes in on the outside size wise is actually quite nice. Um, I like the size more and more all the time is everything has to be larger. This, this feels a good size. It looks a good size. What's really impressive is when you open the door and get inside. Not so much the materials, because the materials are, are very average. The, uh, there's a lot of hard plastic. It's reasonably grained. Uh, the material on the seats is not bad. We'll give it that. But what I really liked was the color choice. And I know this seems like an odd thing to really focus on, but this light, it's a, the seats were kind of a more denim blue, although I would say on the light end of a denim blue. Um, but like the, the blue, the, the, the blues of the, of the door cards and of the dash and of the steering wheel, a couple different shades of blue, but they're, they, they nailed it. They really nailed it. It's a really attractive, um, it's not dark blue, but it's not light blue. It's that Goldilocks in the middle and it's just this right shade of blue. I found it quite nice, and of all the things in this, that is really the thing that I liked the most about it, was the choice of blues. Um, just, I'm not gonna say it got me excited, but I actually kind of enjoyed it because it had some style to it. Um, it but not overly done, right? It was tastefully done, and that's kind of cool. Fuel economy on it was, pretty reasonable. Uh, it says 30 in the city, 32 combined, 34 in the highway, according to the EPA and on the Monroney. 
basically got right on book, even, even a little bit better, got just about 35 on the highway on a pretty good run from where I live out to Ann Arbor and back. So that's, you know, 90-ish miles round trip. And yeah, almost 35 miles a gallon. Can't really complain too much about that. Uh, in the city and running around, yeah, 32-ish, 33. So, I mean, it's reasonably good on fuel. And of course, it's going to use 87 octane gas. So on that level for an entry-level vehicle, yeah, it's going to be pretty economical to run. Hyundai's got its 10-year warranty, so you really shouldn't have to worry too much about it. This is going to be a vehicle that you can buy rather than lease, although I suppose you could lease it for, I don't know, I'd have to go look at the pricing, but let's just say 169 bucks a month or $149 a month with not a lot of money down. But at a price of uh, $23,305 as tested, and the only option, I guess I could just bring this over here and look at it, the only option was... Carpeted floor mats for $135. Uh, so $22,050 is your MSRP. And again, $135 for floor mats. So $23,305. If you sneeze in the wrong direction, you could probably get $1,500, $2,000 off it. So, I mean, you could literally get this vehicle as it is probably for 20, 20 somewhere between $20 and $21,500, I would say. So... You got to buy a new vehicle. You want to spend $21,000. I mean, yeah, you could do a lot worse than this. Um, as you'll see here in a minute, able to put our Mastiffs, or Mastiffs, ah, sorry. Uh, it's the anniversary of our first Mastiff passing away, so she's uh, on my mind today. Um, yeah, two, uh, two Wolfhounds, two Irish Wolfhounds. That's what we have now. Um, they both fit in there. Just, I mean, Drogon, our... our male just fit so as he's curled up in there and i didn't really get a good picture of it to share here but if you fold the seats flat he's his butt's kind of at the back end of the area and his head is like right at the front end almost touching the the back of the front seats so one of the questions that hyundai engineers never asked and of course why would they is will this 2020 hyundai venue wolfhound what do i mean by that well, we have two Irish Wolfhounds. One, a four and a half month old puppy, and the second, just shy of two years old. Pretty much full grown. So the question is, is will either of these fit into this 2020 Hyundai venue? Let's find out. So this is my Maria. She is our four and a half month old Irish Wolfhound puppy. Uh, about 60 pounds-ish, maybe a little more. So, will she fit? No problem, lots of room for her. She actually can even stand up in there. So it fits a puppy. She's good. Now let's see if Drogon will fit. So this, this is Drogon. He is our just shy of two year old puppy. Um, so yeah, he's pretty much full grown. He's about 36 inches at the back, weighs about 150 pounds. So let's see. So he fits just, can't stand up, but there is room for him in there. Not sure it's a happy place for him, but hey. So the 2020 Hyundai venue, Will Wolfhound. Cool. Back seat room is tight. When I put the seat for myself at 5'10", could I sit behind, beside, behind myself? Yeah, just, just. Uh, it's not the most comfortable thing. Uh, my knees, depending on how I was sitting uh, or positioned myself, my knees were either touching or almost touching the back of the front seat. So like I said, back seat's a little tight. If your passenger decides, like my wife, she needs to have the seat all the way back, there's not anyone going to be sitting behind you. There's not enough leg room for anyone there. So... It's really a two, this is almost like, even though it's a four-door crossover, it's sort of a two-plus kind of thing. So keep that in mind. On the road, the Hyundai venue is a bit of a mixed bag. Now, the ride is fine. It does exactly what you expect in a, you know, 
slightly over twenty thousand dollar crossover to do it's not amazing it's it's about where you want it to be the problem comes with acceleration or therefore the lack thereof if you are anything but full throttle on this thing it takes a while it takes a while uh, the fact that it's a cvt yay yay cvt meaning no but probably fine for everyone who's going to buy it it's, it's a little slower than i think it should be but naturally aspirated 1.6 in a cvt i mean you're talking 120 what three horsepower i believe correct number will be somewhere maybe um it's okay it's adequate just so overall pleasantly surprised with this hyundai venue i don't like the segment being crossovers but the size i generally like in the past, I would have recommended that you look at Kia Soul, but the last one we had was really disappointing. This, I think, does a pretty good job here. It's a little larger than a Soul, a little more functional, and I think overall just a better package at a better price. If you're looking for a first car, or say you're an older couple, empty nester, you need something that's functional, get you around, get good fuel economy, and you don't need much, or you're not looking for much, I think this is a really good option. If you're shopping in this market, this should be top two, three you should be looking at. It's one of the better vehicles in the segment that we've driven. And, you know, if we can say it's one of the better ones in the segment of a vehicle in a segment we don't like, that should say it enough right there. So hope you enjoyed the review. If you, if you did, like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you next time on rumblestrip.net and 10-Minute Test Drive.